So I've been in discussion with one of my subscribers who goes by the name of Jason. You know, Jason believes that the internet has done more harm to the Christian faith than it has done good, of which I made clear to him that I do disagree with his opinion. Now I explained to Jason the many reasons why I do disagree with this claim, and one of those reasons was because the internet helps us expose and bring to attention the false teachers that are in this world. I mean, think about the false teachers that went unchecked at a mass level back in the 80s, the 90s, early 70s. The internet has allowed the true church the ability to expose and to apply pressure to those who are false. Now, it's very hard for false teachers to hide in today's internet-driven society, and that's a good thing. Seemingly, in my mind, a, a superficial, shallow, false form of Christianity. And one of the things that has just driven me through these years is to call the people who say they're Christians to act like Christians, to follow the Word of God, to be faithful, let the church be the church. My preaching, gospel according to Jesus, the gospel according to the apostles, the gospel according to God, the gospel according to Paul, shame to the gospel, book after book after book after book after book, calling the church to repentance. But it was a tough call. Why? Because superficial Christianity made a lot of money. Superficial Christianity elevated a lot of charlatans. It was successful. Oh, the biggest churches in America are part of it. It was very hard to call people to faithfulness when you could be so corrupt and so successful in Christian religion. That was the battle. Now I think there's a sifting and a shifting. First of all, phonies are going to have a hard time hiding with the Internet. We're seeing one after another, after another, after another dead ones and alive ones, this dead apologist had a deviant sex life. This cool dude, rock and roll pastor, was immoral with multiple women for years and years. You know, I, I, I look at all that and my thoughts were, I don't know I don't think if it weren't for Jesus Christ that I could sell anybody on Christianity. That we preach Christ, right? And you're attracted to Him, right? But if, the, if there are people out in the world who just look at Christianity, it has to be not only uninviting but maybe even repulsive. Who are these people? Filthy rich, immoral corrupt, narcissistic. If it weren't for Jesus Christ, Christianity would have no appeal.